What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Rose underscore Ah. Oh, Tish, you already know what I'm saying. Back at it again with another video. And in today's video, we're going to be doing a QA slash what I wish I knew when I came to uni. So without further ado, let's get into the video. But pause. Before that, I have to make sure to ask you to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you stay posted whenever I upload. One, two, three o'clock, four Party right now, put your body on the floor You don't wanna dance right there is the door Cause we'll party all night, then we'll party some more So, let's get into this real quick So, so I asked you man to send me some questions for Q&A On my Snapchat And you guys followed through So, let's start, let's start I've got it here on my laptop Let's go with the first one Okay So, uh, asking me how do I feel about my exes? Damn. That's crazy. That one crazy. You're trying to get me in trouble. But I'll say this, yeah. Me, I'm the type of person that like, I, don't, I don't have bad breakups. You feel me? Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. When it comes to my exes, huh? I don't know, I hate them, but I don't like them. Like, there's some that I still have love for, and I always have love for. Because, cause like, if you get in a relationship, obviously you have, like, some sort of love for them, innit? There, there's a reason that there was something special to you at the time. So some of them I still have love for, innit? They always have, like, a special place there, innit? But the thing's done, innit? So, feel me? Apart from one, there's one. That there, There's one. There's one who's definitely fuck her, like, literally. There's, there's one. Just one. She's the exception. If you could make one dream come true, what would it be and why? That's a hard one, I'm not gonna lie. You see, there's, there's some things that a lot of people that know me now might not know about me before, but I was extremely passionate about drama and acting. So like, I was like, serious, I was on it. Like, I really wanted to be an actor, like in the theater or something. Like, I was seriously passionate about acting and drama. Back in the 1800s, slavery was definitely not a topic you should be joking about. My name is Samuel and the year is 1864. I'm bound by my chains, but I will rise. You may shoot me. Your words. You may cut me with your eyes. You may kill me with your hate. But still, like air, I rise. You rise, never. Grant him. Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the best slave auction in all of South Carolina. Today, I'm going to be selling one of my finest slaves. So, who is up for buying him? You, you look like you've got money, a bit of money. Especially you, you look like you've got a lot of money. So. Who is going to buy my slave? He can cook. <laughs> he can farm. And most importantly, he can play the flute. So, who's going to buy my slave? You got trophies. This man of applause for the trophies. Now we had a little interview before, and I remember before when I sat down and we were talking about who's going to win. There was like, are we going to do it? It wasn't really shouting about it, but what we've seen is winners always prevail. The cream always rises to the top. So, what happens next? Hollywood? Probably. <laughs> Oscars? Yes. Grammys? Maybe. So the 2018 RISDA award winners are. If there's if there's a dream that I wish could come true, it would be to become an actor or some kind of like performer in like the performing arts type stuff. So like, yeah, you feel me? Because all the dreams that I'm working towards now they're achievable as long as I put in the right amount of work type shit. Feel me? So yeah, 
I got those a lot. So that's the one, you feel me? That's the dream. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Ooh. That's a hard one. I'm 20 now. I'm 20 now. So in 10 years, that's uni career done. After uni, I plan to play pro. In like France somewhere. Then I'll be 30 years old. So I'd say by the time I'm 30, 100% my professional career as a volleyball player would definitely be, it'd be done. For a fact, 100%. Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll go higher. But if I'm going to be honest, probably not. So I'd say when I'm 30 years old, I'd plan on being in a situation where I can start my businesses and the and the projects that I've envisioned to be having. So as you guys probably don't know, but I'm studying electronic engineering in, u in university right now. So I plan on starting my own business um, when it comes to engineering. So yeah, and also I'm gonna have some side hustle. So I plan on starting to build my empire when I'm like 30, you feel me? So yeah, so once I'm, yeah, yeah, you, you get it. I'll be there. I also plan to most likely start having my first kid around 30, most likely. How old are you? Um, if you guys didn't know, I'm 20 years of age. How do you move to beanies? I'm not, I knew one of you were going to ask some silly questions like this. All right, cool. So if I'm be honest, me moving to beanies. All right, cool. Let, let, let me set the scene. Let me set the scene. So say man's in a social setting, innit? Say like, I'm in some like type of event type shit, you know? And niggas at their own tables and that in their chairs and it. So first of all, man gotta see if the girl's cute, like see if she see me like like be scouting the area, I'll just be looking around. Me, I am very I'm very like aware, I'm a very aware person, innit? So I'm always looking about, innit? So if I see that she's paying, I like her, innit? And then she's like looked at me type shit. Like I look for the signals, innit? When I see a signal. Then I'ma slide in. <laughs> and me, I don't move to girls when they're angry. Only sometimes. If there's, like, you know what I'm saying? Some, sometimes friends can cop block you, you feel me? I ain't trying to deal with that. Most of the time, I, I, I go to the girls, you like, chill by themselves, innit? Cause me, I don't really like loud girls. No. Sometimes. Sometimes I don't like loud girls. But anyway, let me just act it out for you. All right, cool. Say the girls are hearing it. I just be like... I just, I just come to her like, um, she be chilling there. I walk up to her, it's all smiling shit, and I'm like, yo, what you saying? Oh. You know what I mean? She be like, nothing much, you. Yeah. Oh. I just seen you in your ones, what, you don't like to socialise? What's my sister? And then she'll say something, like, she like, nah, I just really keep to myself, I'm kind of antisocial, I'm like, I'm kind of an introvert type shit. I'll be like, yo, listen, you hear what I'm saying? My name's Rose, by the way, you. You get no bitches! And then I get her name. And then I just start the conversation. Like, it's not even on no thirsty thing, bro. You don't go on no thirsty thing. You feel me? Them man who go on the thirsty thing, them the one who get blood. Them the man who get shut off. Them the man who get sent home to their mother. I talk to girls like the normal human beings, innit? The hoes gonna love this. <laughs> I don't do nothing extra. When I'm moving to girls, I move to them like I'm trying to get to know them type shit, you feel me? That's how I move to beanies, isn't it? Like, I just come on a friendly thing, I just get to know them. I don't do anything different, like... They're just normal people, I talk to them like they're normal people. And what is your body count? Whoa! You know what? You know what? Before, I could give you a straight answer, but now I'm in you, I'm not even gonna lie, I've lost count. Whore? I've actually lost count. But it's 10 plus. It's, it's, I'm in double digits now. I just, I just don't, I don't, I can't give you an exact number. I've, I've actually lost count. Yeah, so that's, that's it for the Q&A section. Um, not many questions were sent to me, but you get me, it's enough, you feel me? Because I'm doing a double video. That's all I got for you today. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I did. I enjoyed creating this. It's, it's, it's fun talking about my experiences. I love it, man. And I'll, I'll do it more, like, just, yeah. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You already know the thing. And in the comments, 
leave some suggestions for any videos that you may want me to do, whatever that might be. I know I'm going to start doing reaction videos, so you don't need to put that one out there. Um, I might start doing some gaming as well. In the comment section below, drop the comment, Ray and Nephew, if you made it to the end of the video, just so I know who you real ones are, innit? So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. i see you next time. I've been Rose underscore artist. You already know what I'm saying? And thank you guys for watching the video. One, two, three, o'clock, four.